So let's go and take a look at cotangent. Very similar. Again, guys, there's no amplitude, right? There's no max or min points. So we're going to look at the period. But before I get to the period, we got some things going on. This does not look like our standard form, right? And again, like this is why I show you guys that equation over here. Like we want to identify A, B, C, and D. So we want to make it look like this, like that format. This is not in that format. So what are we going to do? Well, obviously the better the fat the more you do of these, the better you're going to get. I'll just do this like one by one. X divided by two is the same thing as one half x plus pi. Right? Remember that. Dividing by two is the same thing as multiplying by one half. Okay? Therefore, we know the b is one half. But we've got to factor it out. Factoring out is like dividing out one half. If you're going to divide by one half, that's the same thing as multiplying by two. So in reality, when you factor out this one half, it's kind of like multiplying both of these by two. So you divide this out, that's going to give you x plus two pi. And again, the best thing you should do on a test or a quiz or your homework is just double check your work. The best thing about factoring, guys, is you can just multiply it back to make sure it works. 1 half times x gives you 1 half x. 1 half times 2 pi gives you pi. So I did it correct. But now I have an a, b, and a c. All right, now again, I'm not, this isn't compressing or stretching my graph at all, but it is going to reflect about the x axis. This is going to impact my period. But again, remember, cotangent is just like tangent. It's pi divided by the absolute value of b. So this is pi divided by 1 half, which is 2 pi. And then I can see that the graph is also being shifted 2 pi to the left. So that is a phase shift 2 pi left, or left 2 pi. And there's no d, no vertical shift up or down. We know the range is all real numbers. And the cotangent occurs every, the vertical asymptote occurs every pi, 2 pi, or pi n, right? So then all we're going to do for the vertical asymptote is just set our transformations. Now, could we use this? Should we use this one or this one? It doesn't really matter, right? Because I mean, these are, these are the exact same. They're just written differently. So again, it really just kind of depends on what is not going to confuse you. Typically, the pure form or the first form is you know, fine um, equals pi n. So again, you can subtract here. x over 2 equals um, pi n minus pi. They're not like terms, so you can't subtract them. And this is kind of like that first example I did today. Multiply everything by 2, x equals 2 pi n minus 2 pi where therefore x equals just 2 pi n, right? 2 pi n minus 2 pi, the minus 2 pi is not, you know, it's not impacting your answers, right? It's like all even numbers are 2n minus 2. OK, yeah. You don't really need to subtract 2. All even numbers are just 2n. Agreed? Cool? Got it? All right, you guys are up. <laughs>